everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Adina and I am so excited to see this new music video. Eyes One released a new music video for their song Violetta, Violetta, I don't know how they pronounce it. In the Korean, it's pronounced Violetta. I'm so excited for this. I, um, I saw their music video for La Vie and Rose love that song it's honestly so catchy and the dance is so cute <laughs> like it's it's so cute and um my bias is chan of course the queen the dancing queen love her literally she was my favorite since produce and honestly is still pissed that she finished in 12 but you know what she's in the group so it doesn't matter she's shining anyway <laughs> So I'm so excited for this. Haven't seen any teasers, trailers. I don't, I don't know. I don't really keep up with Eyes One that much. So I don't really know like when they're releasing stuff or what they're doing. Um, like I know they released a Japanese song a bit ago, but I didn't see it. I didn't watch it or hear it. I'm interested in seeing what they're, you know, what songs they'll be releasing following Love You and Rose. <clears throat> so. Without further ado, let's get straight into it in three, two, one, play. It gives me a very similar vibe to Love in Rose already. Sometimes one young looks so young and then other times she looks older than her age. <laughs> wasn't just an abrupt ending it was like a still moving after the song ends kind of thing which is always really cool 
That was nice. I like that. I think I'm gonna have to listen to it a bit more to see how much I actually like it, but like, I, I like it. It's a good song. I also really like the choreography. I honestly don't really know that, like, what to say that much about this because, first of all, I don't really <clears throat> know all of them that well. Like, I, I saw Produce 48, I saw when they were being made and all that, but I don't know. For me, Produce 48, it was like, it was harder to get to know the, uh, the people on the show. Like, for some reason, I had so much trouble remembering names. I don't know why, but I did. And I still have trouble remembering names now that they're, like, in the group. I... Like, I knew their names, and now it's just, I know, like, a few. So it's kind of hard to comment on this. I did see that there were a lot, like, a lot of little shots of Sakura, which, like, I get it. She's, like, <clears throat> the popular one. I guess she, is she, like, the face of the group? Because she's, like, well-known in Japan, and she's also pretty popular in Korea. <clears throat> um... I would think so. She seems to be to be like the most popular. <clears throat> but like, I don't know. I see that she gets like a lot of close-up shots and stuff like that, which is it's cool, but like there are other members who don't get as much and it's like I don't know. I just I think it's kind of unfair. I hate it when that happens. When like a group has one specific member that is most popular or most good-looking and they show in music videos they show that person a lot and then other members don't get as much screen time which is it like enhances that person's popularity but then it kind of just like overshadows the other members so I, I i hate it when that happens like whatever <laughs> the song is great <clears throat> i'm definitely going to be listening to it a bit more it's very catchy um the choreography i really liked i might try and learn that if I have time probably over the summer there's gonna be a lot of dances that I'm gonna want to learn over the summer and honestly not a lot of time but you know what we're gonna try because that's what you should do when you want to do something you should try <laughs> but anyway that is it thank you guys so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment down below other videos you'd like me to react to and if you want to see more subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys next video bye